Dudley Tarantula Girl coming to you from my zoo. I'm doing an unboxing today from Mr. Pierre Sibley's. Just a few items, mostly for breeding loans. So I love doing breeding loans with friends because it's like, um, I don't know, it's just a fun little collaboration. So without further ado, uh, this looks like a beautifully packed box. Good star foam. It's spring, so the weather is very mild. Good packing. Alright, first order of business. A leopard gecko. This is a tarantula, mature male. I'm not sure what species. We talked about a couple different things. These are some teeny baby assassin bugs. Very cool. And a mature uh, Idothalia Mira. Make sure there's, you never know if there's a little something extra somebody's thrown in there just because they just thought of it last minute. So uh, you always want to make sure your box, check your box and make sure there's nothing hiding at the bottom. Mom, I'm bored. Oh, I have just the solution. Check it out. The Zilla Microhabitat. Do you remember when we put together the last terrestrial enclosure? Oh, that was so much fun last time. <laughs> well, the arboreal one is even more fun. Rukia, aren't you excited? She's excited. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Now, wasn't that fun? Yes, I love you, Mommy. <laughs> I actually got this enclosure from the U.S. ARC auction at the Arlington NARBC. If you're not hitting those NARBC shows, you're missing out. And definitely, definitely, no matter what, if you are an animal lover, you should be supporting U.S. ARC. If you're not in a position to be a member right now, make a small donation, and we will drop their link below. First order of business... This is a little beauty that was sent to me some time back by Pierre. So his name is Jean Pierre. Uh, this is a beautiful little Felsuma grandis that Pierre reproduced. I'm loving this guy. I think it might be a guy. It looks like he may be developing some pre-anal spurs. And there will be a care video coming up on that pretty soon. Alright. Time to go nighty night, little Jean. Here's the mature male Postlotheria regalis male. He arrived very well, jumped out onto my hand immediately. Obviously, this is not a permanent enclosure. This is just something that he'll be in uh, for a few hours or potentially through the night so he can be watered. And he's going to go directly into a breeding chamber. Here's the mature male Idothale Mira. He looks pretty good. Uh, it looks like he received some minor damage in shipping one leg, but uh, it looks like he's getting around okay. It's not bleeding. So as you guys know, things happen to tarantula appendages in the wild, and as long as they don't bleed to death, they usually live to tell the tale. So poor dude, sad day, but I think he's going to be just fine. Lastly, we uh, received this beautiful gecko. Wow, what a specimen. And this animal's actually in blue right now. Um, but what a beautiful creature. And this actually belongs to Liz Torres. So thank you, Liz, for trusting me with your baby. Can't wait to get some pairings going pretty soon. Be on the lookout for uh, some potential breeding videos, some eggs, some egg sac videos. And definitely a nice video on Felsuma grandis care. 
Uh, I apologize how long it took me to get that video out, but I was just working on growing that baby up a little bit, and I actually just got some new plants to replant up that enclosure, and I wanted it to look beautiful and dazzling for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick unboxing video. Big thanks to Pierre and Liz, and I'll see you guys next time.